Hey guys, Shurm here, and today I am excited to present my McLaren Speedtail at 5 stars in multiplayer in Asphalt 9. Now unfortunately, I am missing a few epics, so it isn't 100% 5 starred, but it is close enough, and as you will see, it certainly does the job. Please consider subscribing if you have not already, and be sure to check out my Furum Clips channel, as well as my new TikTok, where I'll be uploading those same clips, I guess if you just want in a different format or whatever, um, as well as my Furum TV channel and my Purple Team Discord. You can find the link to all those down in the description, and boy do I sure have a lot of things to plug at the beginning of my videos now. I hope you enjoy these races. So, I'm sure you can hear it in my voice, but I am quite excited to to finally be able to make a video about this car. Why is that, you may ask? Well, let us go back a few months, it actually may be a bit longer than that, and let us present the story of the McLaren Speedtail that Furum tried to get multiple times but always ran up a little bit short because he kept getting very bad luck in multi-packs. Yeah, that's, that's long story short. Pretty much what happened was I, I don't remember exactly how many blueprints I got, but I was at like 60 or something out of 85 blueprints for this car for a long time from whenever it first came out. And then twice since then, there's been some kind of multi-pack that had blueprints for this car in it. They were two different ones, but they both had Speedtail blueprints as one of their three or four options or so. And one of the times, I think I got to like 78 blueprints and I needed 85. And the next time I got super unlucky and I opened like 3,000 tokens worth of them and I just got four more blueprints. So I was stuck at 82 out of 85 blueprints for this car for the longest time. Oh, and by the way, I'd spent all, <laughs> all of my uh, tokens I had at both of those times on multi-packs because I really wanted this car. This just goes to, to show you guys, if, if you're really trying to get a car through multi-packs, it's not guaranteed, because all that's guaranteed in the multi-packs is you get one of the featured cars, not necessarily the one that you want. So you could technically spend all of your token amounts, tens of thousands, and not get a single blueprint for the car that you wanted. Rant over. Um, that was just me being a little dumb with how I spent my tokens, but finally, since the uh, star wave for this car came back, I was able to get it at five stars, which I'm super happy about because I love driving this car. It's just one of the most well-rounded cars in the entire game, especially in S-Class. So even at 5 stars, it goes 269 miles per hour, which is pretty much identical to cars like the, the Zenvo, the Inferno, the Fenner, cars like that at max. However, it also has really good drifting. It has really good punch and floaty capabilities. It has pretty good nitro efficiency. It has pretty good acceleration. It actually has positive fake acceleration. So, there's really not a lot to hate about this car. You may be wondering, what's the downside? Well, other than the fact that it isn't quite as fast as the highest end Class S cars, so you will get some competition with Yesco's and Trions and stuff like that on the fast tracks, especially. It, it isn't the most stable. It does have some issues, you know, with either barrels or wall riding, just occasionally. It doesn't exactly do what you want it to do, but when it does, which is 98% of the time, it is a blast to drive and I love it. So the Around the World update has just come out and I'm looking forward to making content about it. However, based on how it's starting, not entirely sure how much I'm going to be able to make as the first special event for the um, Ajlani Drakuma, I believe is how you pronounce it, requires the Peugeot SR1 for its very first day, which currently has a car hunt for it. And so I may try to unlock the Peugeot in its car hunt just so I can start the Ajlani special event. Now, the thing is, the Peugeot has the worst nitro, at least stock nitro, in the entire game at 8.86. It is below 10 at stock. I don't think we have ever had a stat before that is below 10. Now, we're also starting off the update with an MP2 for the Nissan R390, which I said in my update video, which you should go check out if you haven't seen it yet, is similar to the Apollo N in terms of stats, but slightly worse than all of them. And here, for some reason, I accidentally went the wrong way. But no fear, it ends up being okay. And I just rhymed without even meaning to. I seem to do that a lot in my videos. Anyway, I just... never mind. Let's just continue on. So, the R390 is similar to the Apollo N, and after driving it a few times in its MP2, I... I mean, it, it feels pretty much like that. If you have the Apollo N, Driving that car feels a lot like it, and honestly, I wouldn't really recommend necessarily trying to start up if you have any of the other high-end B-Class cars, because it is not going to be a king, however, it still will be, I believe, fairly high toward the top of its class, and it was decently fun to drive. Also, it is in Forza Horizon 5, and I just rhymed again. 
Um, we might be testing that car in Forza Horizon 5 soon as well, and you can expect a video about it in its multiplayer season at some point. Maybe the next video, maybe not. We'll see how things turn out. Going back to the Ejlani Dracuma special event, that car is similar to the Bugatti Chiron in stats, so if you have that car or any other higher-end S-Class car already, it's not really one much worth going for either, and look at that, we did beat a Chiron in this race. Now, in this next race, we're going to be facing uh, two Sheerans, a Yesco, a Zenvo. Yeah, this actually ended up being one of my favorite races of my entire session with the Speed Tail. Why? You will see pretty soon. Now, even though the Edgelani may not be super amazing in S-Class, one of the cars definitely looks more promising, the Agera RS. In my update video, I said that based on its stats, it looked like it could be a good competitor to the Yesco and the Tuatar, although not much with the Venom, which is still going to be the king of the game, and I think it will be for quite a while. I got a chance to drive the Agera RS and all of the other new cars in the update in the Max Free Try Creator events. Uh, Greenland is one of the tracks now, so let me know if you guys would like to see maybe Max test videos with any of the cars. The one that I would be most likely to do is the Agera RS, so it remains to be seen, I guess, just how soon we'll actually be able to drive it. Usually, they give us a max free try event at some point. This is the best part of the race. They come around the corner, and I'm 4 out of 7, but then I grab their slipstream, and then shockwave around the final corner to pass the Sheeran to grab first place just barely. And I believe I was actually, well, not tied, but one frame ahead of the Sheeran in second place. Quite the race. I thought for sure I was not going to win that one, but now we're moving into our final race where we have an Aspark Owl, a Regera, as well as some other cars, and it's time for me to give my general review about the McLaren Speedtail. I'm sure you can tell throughout this video, but I really enjoyed driving this car. It was worth the blood, sweat, and tears I had to go through to obtain it without a doubt. By which I mean wasting all those tokens on multi-packs and then spending countless hours grinding the Star Ray, but it was worth it. This car, there's really nothing much bad to say about it other than the somewhat poor physics at times and the fairly average speed for high-end Class S cars, but everything else more than makes up for that. And I was regularly beating Regeras and Chirons and Trions and even Yescos when I was driving this car, especially if you get a twistier track where most of those cars can't get much above this car's top speed around 270 miles per hour. If the speed tail is this good at five stars, I can't imagine how it will be at six stars. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you've enjoyed and consider subscribing for more Asphalt Forza Minecraft and other games content, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!